Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Dylan and if you're new here, I'm currently training for a half marathon. So I set a goal to run a sub one hour and 50 minute half marathon and we're doing that in Ann Arbor, Michigan and I have nine weeks left to train. So today I wanna to dive just a little bit deeper than just some of the big highlights. I wanna get into some of my scheduling, how I'm training, um, some of the meals, electrolytes, a bunch of fun stuff like that. So we're gonna get into that in today's video. All right, so I got the Saucony Endorphin Shift 3s in the mail. So I wanted a shoe that had a little bit more support. I've been running in the Hoka Mach 5s, which is a great shoe, but I feel like I needed a little bit more to it. So I tried these shoes out, got a good deal on them for about a hundred bucks. And so I've been wearing those for some of my longer runs. So I still wear the Mach 5s for my speedier runs, tempo runs, stuff like that. But for these long runs, I'm sticking with the Saucony Endorphin Shift 3s. All right, all done running, 3.5 miles done. Overall time was nine minutes, 13 seconds for average pace. Um, not, not bad. I felt good, but the problem is I continue to push the pace a little bit, waiting on Sylvia. So she's only a couple minutes behind me. We we're gonna head home and we need some food. Recently too, Sylvia and I have been trying to find an electrolyte that's a little bit cleaner that we both really like the taste of. We're trying to stay away from certain ingredients we keep running into. So I found this brand online called Hydration Hero. I okay. would drink that, I oh, would. Oh, she would. <laughs> So obviously I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, but I wanted to try something different. So we tried these. So there's two different kinds we tried. Okay, and we're live. We're live. Oh. <laughs> what, are you gonna do something or what? You had all this to say before the camera turned on. I forgot on. what the brand is called. So we tried the Guava Fresca the other day, but now we're trying the Hydration Hero Lemon Lime flavor. Here it is. Kind of looks like pee. <laughs> Sorry. I think I like this one better. That's it? Than Just, the guava fresh. That's fresh. good. Well, the other one I really You would never to. sell a house. So this house, as you can see, is cool. So as you can see, guys. This one is pretty good. Yeah. On our Wednesdays, that's when we have our race pace runs or our speed runs. So it'd be a speed run plus leg day on Wednesday. And then on Thursday on my day off, Sylvia still goes into work. I do not work Thursdays. So on those days, that's when I will go to the gym and do an upper body day. So I'll do like a push or a pull. So then on Saturday, I do the opposite of a push or a pull. Sunday's our long run day. We never work out or run on Monday. That's always like our day off to just chill, recover and take it easy. So I've had this idea for a long time of doing like a coffee of the day kind of thing, but I've not really pulled the trigger on it except like a lot of people don't care. But obviously it's not about other people caring, it's about me and I love coffee. So I'm gonna do a coffee of the day. I'm gonna get into it. Sylvia just finished a run. I wanted to highlight this coffee specifically because it was a near disaster experience. Oh crap, I gotta dump this out. We've had just a couple, uh, just a couple coffees here and there. Oh wait, that's a Grand Lungo. It's five ounces. Oh crap, this is so stupid. Not bad. Oh, I'm so dumb. I just said it. It's five ounces, not two. So I got out my double shot like I always do. I filled this thing up to the top and then I had to emergency, if that's even a word. And then I had to grab our glass with ice in it and then dump in there. So, whoops. That would have been so bad if I just walked away, kept talking, and then all of a sudden that thing just floods. Oh man. Although now it's gonna melt the ice, so it kind of ruined my whole look. Cool. Now for this bad boy, the rest of the coffee. Oh my gosh, that would have been so bad. It looks awesome though. Look at that. That looks awesome. Hey, hey, can you be quiet? Also, speaking of disaster, uh, I also was making a steak dinner, but ended up setting off the fire alarm instead. All right, tonight is steak night. We got this bad boy brewing with some salt till it's tender. Sylvia is zesting the lemon as we speak. And then in the air fryer, we got 15 minutes till the fries are done, but they're in there. We got waffle fries. Let's just say things are about to get a little wild up in here. So on Friday after work, we went for a three and a half mile run. That was our recovery run that we did. All right, we're in the middle of a 3.5 mile run. Sylvie's out there running too. 
On Saturday, we did some strength training and we basically made two circuits that we ran through that workout. So we started off with dumbbell chest press and then right after that we did bicep curls, front and side raises, and then we ended with push-ups and we did three total sets of that one circuit. Jump ahead to circuit number two that we did. That was gonna be dumbbell flies, hammer curls, shoulder press, and then preacher curls. So that had us totally be after we did three sets of each of those. So six sets total for all those workouts. So after we hopped in the hot tub, we took it easy. We were getting ready for Easter Sunday the next day. And that was also the day we had to do our long run. So Sunday morning after church was just a really fun, chill day with some family. I got to make some coffees for some people, which I love doing. I love making coffees for myself and other people, and I love using the Chemex. So that's kind of what I used uh, to make coffee for people. Um, I did try this weird cheese on pineapple thing. I don't really know what the deal about that is. If you want to know my honest opinion, it literally just tastes like you ate cheese and pineapple. So I don't, I don't know what the hype is about that or if there is any hype, but it was, it was not very good. But overall, we had a great lunch, we had a great time with family, and then Sylvia's cupcakes were a hit. They had lemon curd filling on the inside and like a raspberry buttercream frosting and it was filled with lemon curd. So that was an amazing combination. And that was actually our fuel, although not the greatest fuel, but that was our fuel going into our long run. So two hours after that, we finally got started on our run. All right, so that is an entire recap of a week of half marathon training. The most important part of the training plan is hitting the weekly mileage, because that's gonna accumulate over time. And for us with these 10 weeks total, which we had, and then really eight weeks left to go, um, that's gonna be really important to hit that weekly mileage so we can build up uh, so I can hit my time and Sylvia hit her time. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you got something from this and learned a little bit more about uh, the training plan that we're doing. Um, if you guys liked the video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video. And Sylvia's creeping up here and she just finished her run because she doesn't have shin splints and she'll probably see you in the next video too.